Hey guys, Mitch here with the Audio Dabble YouTube channel and today I'm just going to take a few minutes of your time and show you four of my favorite features. Yeah, they're probably my favorite features. I really like them. They're really well designed features of AUM that I don't see a whole lot of people talking about. You know, maybe they are, but I just haven't noticed. But these are things that I use and can be really helpful that are not like blatantly obvious. And so let's uh, dive in and uh, see what it's all about. All right, tip number one is session load with the program change or CC messages or whatever you want to. And what that means is I can take and all of these sessions here, these are all sessions of AUM. I can load them up via a particular, you know, PC message or CC message or, or whatever I want to. And so how do you do that? And it's really useful. And let me just demo this real quick. Um, actually, I need to go to MIDI control and add this as a control destination and then boom, there's a preset. I don't have to browse or anything. And so this is really good if you're doing performances and you have different songs and different AUM sessions for different songs. You know, it's really, really easy to just be able to switch the presets and things like that. And so how do you set that up? Well, if you go under MIDI control, you make sure that you're the MIDI controller that you want to use is selected and then go to session load under actions and then there they are. And you can, you know, select whatever you want to. Like if I have this micro pitch, now I can go here and I can learn, learn a message and it learned it and there you have it. And now I can switch to that particular preset. And this, this brings me into the, uh, the next tip here will be um, how you can move effects around inside a particular chain of effects. And so maybe you wanted to, I have these chained off in different ways. I was messing around with just stereo widening with micro pitch. But, you know, if I wanted to put the reverb in front of all of those sins, then I could. Or maybe just a few of those sins, or if I wanted to add another preset or whatever. And so you just click and drag to the right and it gives you these two little arrows and you can just drag up and down. So I just think that's really, really nice, really ingenious. It's kind of uh, smooth and just allowing you to uh, just move presets around. So you can just experiment with different things. Say I want the delay before the reverb or reverb before the delay, you know, it gives you those options. Speaking of that, there's a bonus tip. If you click and hold at the bottom, of a track, then you can move the tracks around. And so you can keep things organized. Say you're just kind of experimenting and you're like, well, I really like that. And maybe you've got a MIDI control over here and you want to keep things organized. Like, all right, these are the MIDIs. This is what it's controlling. And say maybe you have another MIDI here. And then this MIDI is controlling that and so forth and so on. It can get, you can organize things a lot better in that sense. So that's really, really cool. Next is if you click here, you have this little import option. And also if you're browsing through here and you click and long tap, you have this import channels and you're like, well, what does that even mean? What does that even do? Well, if you click on import channels, what that's going to do is it's going to append basically take the current session you, that you have and it's going to just add the next session straight to that. So you're not gonna to have to close it out and reopen or anything. It's just going to add everything to that and I can import all of them or just some of them. So let's import three channels here. And it's still importing, just give it a second and there you have it. So it imported all of that stuff and you can do the same here with the import. It's just gonna bring up the other um, setting here and we can just maybe um, literally vocoder jam Harry Potter let's see what that is so it's got a lot so maybe I don't want maybe I just want the MIDI from that particular one and so it's importing and there you have it all right and last tip is these little flags and so you have no bookmarks it's called bookmarks scroll to channel home um, 
But this is something that I never really used. I never had any big sessions, but then I had some big sessions messing around in AUM, and I'm like, man, this is just like, it's not that hard to 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 scroll around, but you know, if there was a bookmark, and so then I discovered this little bookmark, and so you get to that by just clicking and then bookmarking. And so now when I go here, I've got MIDI one, and it'll jump to it. I've got eight with the from bus P, it'll jump to it. And, you know, if I've got over here MIDI 12 here, and I click on MIDI 12, it'll jump to it. And say I'm way over here, and I'm like, ah, let's go back to that MIDI track. Boom, there you have it. And so it's just a really nice way to navigate through large sessions of your AUM sessions when you have that way. Just have these little uh, scroll buttons, and it'll just pop, 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 and just it's really nice and, and simple. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Hopefully this was helpful and informative and had some value to it. If you did think it had some value, you know, make sure you leave a thumbs up in uh, the little thumbs up thing right here. So that way it'll let me know that it was helpful and it helps with the ratings. Also, if you haven't subscribed, then you know, make sure you subscribe. Hit the little subscribe button and the little bell icon so that you know whenever I post new content. And also, in the comments the things below that people write things on yeah those comment things um what's your favorite aum feature and did you uh, did you know some of the features that i covered today um yeah so that's uh pretty much it i do have a patreon and a direct paypal me link if you in, or if you are into supporting content creators you know using you know in a monetary fashion if you're not and into that then you can always just share my videos all other links and stuff are in the description you know for for other things that you may be interested in talk to you guys later